Hey everyone, so before we begin with our video, we would like to make a small request. Kindly subscribe to our channel and like the video if it helps you and also share it with your friends who may benefit from the same. In this video, we will be seeing how to create a DC machine in uh, continuous conduction mode. So, the armature voltage will be supplied through the half wave rectifier and the circuit is provided in the link below and the video as well. So to begin with, um, we'll obviously need a DC machine. So let's take a DC machine and we'll set the preset model to 50 HP, 240 volts, 1750 RPM and 300 volts, basically the first option. And the input is the torque. So, and now we'll take a constant block and provide the required torque. So the torque required is around 20.35 or 20.36. So the calculation for this has been attached below as well in the description. Now we'll take a voltage source to, power, to provide voltage to the field windings and let's just rotate this. So once this is done, we can rotate the whole block. Okay, this is not convenient. Okay. Yeah, so this is done. So we'll remove the equivalent EMF, e equivalent model of the DC machine and we'll replace it with an actual DC machine. So the ammeter must be connected to the armature. And the other end of the armature goes to the rectifier. And the voltage must be measured across the rectifier that is across the armature. Now, the input to the rectifier would actually be with respect to the desired output uh, voltage of the, of the armature. So as we know, the armature requires 240 volts. So the RMS value must be 240 volts. And the AC voltage source peak amplitude provided should be equal to root 2 times the RMS value so that will be around 340 volts so it will be around 339 volts so we'll make it 340 volts so once this is done we can let's get an RMS block as well to measure the output of the system so the RMS is we must specify the fundamental frequency we'll be operating at 50 hertz and the initial value of RMS let's assume it to be 240 itself and We'll take a display block to make sure that we can check the output of the RMS. Okay, once this is done, now let's connect the input voltage as well. And we'll also need a bus selector to select parameters within the DC machine. So we'll be measuring parameters such as armature current, field current, and electric torque and speed. So let's click on select and let's unselect the initial signals. So let's just click on the scope and let's just here. Let's connect the various parameters. So speed is in radians per second. We'll uh, convert it into RPM. So we need a gain block. So which will be 60 by 2 pi. We need to provide a gain of 60 by 2 pi. So that will convert it into RPM. And we'll have to measure the RMS value of voltage. So it shouldn't be coming here. We need to connect it to output voltage. And we need to make sure the field voltage should be 300 volts as specified in DC machine. So it's rated voltage for the field winding is 300 volts. So once this is done, we can simulate a circuit. So as you guys can see that um, the RMS output voltage is around 235.4. This is primarily because we're given a phase delay of 30 degrees. And um, if you look at the Look at the circuit, to look at the various parameters. 
now if you look at just the current measurement as you can see it does not touch it does not reach a value of zero and stay there at any given point of time so that means it's neither in boundary conservation and nor in the discontinuous mode of conduction so it's only in continuous mode of conduction and if you look at the input voltage and output voltage you could clearly see that it's a half wave rectifier now once this is done we could also have a look at the parameters within the machine so let's make the layout so yeah so the field current is constant and um, so is the armature current and electric torque I mean armature current it varies so does the torque but the speed is constant and it's not at the rated speed so let's try removing the phase delay and we'll see that the RMS voltage should increase so let's for the first one let's give a phase delay of 0 degrees and for the second one let's keep it just as this are 180 and not 180 plus alpha that is 30 so it'll just be 180 so this should increase the RMS value so as you guys can see that it, it did increase the RMS value to 238.8 volts which is very close to the value of 240 volts so hopefully you guys found this video useful kindly like the video if you found it useful and share with your friends that may benefit from the same and if you're if you want to see more content like this kindly subscribe to our channel thank you